Hi, I'm Fire Marshal Shin back with you again here at Station 466 with Lieutenant Gus. This time we're going to go over the tanker. Lieutenant Gus. Hi guys, welcome back. So we'll continue on our unique piece of apparatus that we have here at Davidson Airfield. This is our tanker. Firefighter Rankins is assigned to driving the tanker today. So he's going to tell, tell us about what's unique and what's different about this piece of apparatus that we have here. Welcome aboard. Uh, thank you. So the unit behind me here is a tanker here at Davidson Airfield. What the tanker is used for is what we call rural water situations where we don't have any fire hydrants. So this unit here carries a whole bunch of water, 3,000 gallons worth, to get water to fires or whatever we may need water for. So excellent, right? So sometimes we're going to go in places where they don't have fire hydrants. In an engine, we only have up to 750 gallons or as minimum as 500 gallons of water. That gives us about two minutes of firefighting time to put out a fire. That's not enough and it's not enough water. So if we know we're going in an area that doesn't have fire hydrants, we're gonna ask for the tanker to come. And we're gonna ask for more than one tanker to come. And you'll see this on the other side, why we ask for more than one tanker to come. So we're gonna walk around. You notice that there's a, not a lot of stuff, right? This fire truck has a pump, it has a big tank, and it has fire hose. The initial piece of apparatus that's going to be doing the majority of the work when fighting a fire is going to be a fire engine, right? This is going to be to supply us water. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how that works when we do have to use a tanker? Task okay. force. So there's a couple different ways we can do it. Um, all this really does is it delivers water to the scene. Then we use fire hose to transfer the water from the tanker to the engines who then supply water to the firefighters inside of the structure that may be on fire. Uh, once the tanker is empty of all its water, it goes to what's called a fill site. This could be like a pond or the river, anywhere that has an abundance of standing water where there's gonna be another fire engine to fill this back up to go back to the scene of the fire or it could go to a hydrant in another area. It all depends on what is most efficient for what uh, the operation that we have going on. So just like last time, guys, when we were talking about the fire truck, and I gave you guys a homework assignment about having an emergency plan, we as firefighters always have a plan. So we always know the area that we pre-plan, or we have a plan in case of an emergency. So we're already defined an area that doesn't have fire hydrants that we're gonna to need to use the tanker. So our plan is, if we get a call over this address or in this area, we're gonna go ahead and put on the tankers on that call. So we're gonna know that we're gonna have a site, a place that we're gonna get water. So it may be a place where there's already a fire hydrant. So one tanker will go get water, drop it off, and we're gonna walk around this way and I'll show you guys where they're gonna drop that off. You guys, I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'm sure you guys are all excited and wanna know, what's this for, all right? So this right here is so we don't breathe the, the gases and the smoke coming out of the motor, all right? So this goes all the way out to the door and then it hits the switch up top. And then it comes out and comes back here. So all this does, it collect all of the smoke coming out of the tanker and takes it up and outside of the firehouse. So we're not breathing that bad smoke because that smoke has been linked, or linked to cancer to firefighters. So we wanna do everything that we can to protect ourselves, to protect our family, to protect the community. So if we can keep ourselves safe, we're always gonna do that. Just like you need to do at home, keeping everyone safe. So let's go back. And I told you guys that we had something neat. What is this right here? This up here is what we call a drop tank. So what a drop tank is, it's just a big pool, if you will, that we can set up at the scene of a fire, and then we can back the tanker up to it or pull the tanker next to it and use these, which are called dump chutes, to dump all the water out of the tank very quickly. This tanker can dump all 3,000 gallons in about a minute and a half time. 
It's a lot of, lot of water moving very quickly. All right, guys, so that pretty much concludes this other piece of apparatus, right? And we continue to show you guys something new all the time. Later on, in another day, we're actually going to show you what it's like to dump the water, okay? So for next time, I want you to stay safe, stay awesome, and thank you, Firefighter Rankins, for giving such a great help to us. Come back again next time. See you soon.